Hello, this is Skyblaze here, and welcome back to Elsword. It's been, like, about a week now since I've done my last recording. And, yes, there's still the issue with the... Like, unfortunately, that's not something I can currently fix. Thank you. As I happen to be... As I happen to not be in the... Er, it's internet issues. That's what causes it. So, real quick, I'm just gonna go through my... quest. And just finish it off. So, one. Of course. There. So, yeah, I really don't play much of this character. I'll be playing more with it because there's usually more to do in between. So, but as for right now, that's not gonna happen. Let's get the story quest complete. Ah. And gain a new title. So, now we have to go to the White Swamp. Let's... I'm just going to take a vote, and I'm going to go back to Ruben. Through this leggy shenanigans. Still, I wish I could smooth this out for you guys so that this doesn't happen, but... Until I get some better gear and everything, I can't exactly do that, so... I think I, yep, I just need the shirt and the, so. I'm going to take a peek at my stuff, and let's go to the Whiteness Swamp. And get the Monkey King Tail. Actually, why am I doing that? I'm sorry about that. I'm kind of uh, scatterbrained right now. I won't be scatterbrained as soon as I get into this. So what exactly is this jump? Well, this jump is actually something I learned a long time ago. Ow, what the hell? Well, I guess that no damage run isn't happening. So that jump was actually a trick I learned a while ago. What you do is basically you take the up and back and you can actually jump higher than you would normally. As a normal jump would take you just to the platform, the rate that one just goes higher. Gee, thanks. So, let's go. Come on, Bruce. Huh? I call shenanigans. They should not be able to hit me. 
See? He clearly hit me! Okay, this seems to be good. No damage. Uh, glad I leveled up there. I'm glad I was actually able to do something. Uh, thank you, game. Or Apparently it's freezing on me. I can't exactly help that. Yeah, these pictures are actually a bit of a special thing. They actually show your best moment in that uh, stage. So, it what the. Definitely getting a new sword soon. Ow, ow. Oh, you. Once I get some better weapons, these dungeon rooms won't take as long. Get up. That's what I saw. So, what do I do now? Haha. <laughs> I see no point in using... He's dead. I acquired the monkey hide hunter tile. So, 
with this and the quest, the quest will tell you exactly what we're facing. That is actually the boss that we have to face. And Unfortunately, you're going after the wrong person, so... Still not using that mode. Now that was cool. Basically, with bosses they each have a stoic limit. I'll explain that now. Once you hit that stoic limit, which I should hit in about two more hits, there we go. They will do a certain move. That should end it. Basically, you have to watch out for the stoic limits because they'll automatically do moves. They'll automatically do special moves. Required the L Scout title. And horrible time. Air rank and fail for damage. Honestly, I need a better weapon. <laughs>
Okay, that 18k. Technically, I should be using these, but I'm not. Hammer, yes, yeah, scout gloves. Bon sword. Knife too. Well, the same effect, that one's got better. And holy crap, I actually have a plus six item on this character. So let's explain the uh, pluses on the that. That is the enhancement level. Your enhancement level depend on its will give it its stats. Basically, uh, plus three, plus one will give you plus one to plus three will give you plus three percent of the stats each time. Uh, plus three is six is. 7%, uh, 7 to 9 is 15% in each, so on and so forth. And I will get into that more on detail once I go to a certain, certain, um, deal. Sorry, I can't exactly get the words. Nor can I get anything else. Let's enter Lake Noah's. And we need to find the escape, uh, Bantha's Bandit's escape plan from a boar, Lake Noah's. While this is a walkthrough, I'm just going to tell you. They're way over here. <laughs> There's usually three of them around right here, and they are good for experience. Hey, buddy! I'm gonna jump. Do I help? No! Got one. Yeah, field enemies are easy. And Elder Village. So at certain levels, namely, I believe the next level, let me see here. Let's go to the map. Ooh, I like the layout. What? Hey! Hey, 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 no, 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 no. I'm gonna stay right here. Aha, we can access it. Basically, with certain level caps, you can actually get to different villages. Elder, I believe, is level eight. Last I knew it was level 8. <laughs> level 8 it is. Or, no. Level 7. And he wants us to go to the field and collect something. What it is, I think I'll leave it for next time. Because it's a field quest and well yeah but hey level seven and if i've got this right oh come on really yeah the sword with double the attack power and i'm a level off I'm going to keep on walking. So, yeah. Next time, we'll be going through more. We'll be going to the field. In fact, I might skip fields for a while. And we'd start taking on the Shadow Forest. See you guys next time.